I'm already out of breath. It's only 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm tired. I have a sort of love-hate relationship with working out. I'm lazy, um, but I always feel better after I go to the gym. When I heard about Kayla It Signs, she is a very popular fitness guru on Instagram. She has over like 11 million followers. Her main sell on her fitness program is the fact that it's only 28 minutes and you have the option of doing it from home. So I wanted to see if you could actually get results from doing a home workout and what her like program actually consisted of. And I guess number three, see if I could cancel my gym membership. I think one of the biggest challenges doing this for six weeks would be eating better. I sort of have like a salt tooth, so I love eating like chips and just salty snacks and like Taco Bell and things that aren't necessarily good for you that are full of sodium. So I wanted to see if this program could help me feel less bloated on top of trying to get toned as well. So the program I selected to do on Kayla's app called Sweat was a program called Bikini Body Guide, which she calls BBG. And essentially that's a 28 minute program that focuses on strength and cardio exercises. I was a little skeptical that working out just for 28 minutes a day would prove like actual results. So I was kind of just curious to try it myself. I actually reached out to Kayla and her team to learn a little bit more of the logistics behind the program. Kayla told BuzzFeed, if we are realistic, many women do not have time to be working out for hours every day and exercise seems to be the first thing we drop when our schedule gets too busy. Rather than focusing on the length of the workout, I like to focus on the effectiveness. By reducing the length, you can implement it into everyday life and make it part of your daily routine which seemed achievable to me and something I definitely wanted to try. So there is two sections in the Sweat app when you download it. One is if you wanna do these exercises at the gym, but since I wanted to try this at home, I selected the home workout option. You need a yoga mat, a foam roller, some sort of stool or chair you can step on to do like up and down steps, I forget what it's called, and weights, but they are optional. And then the last thing you need is a water bottle. So one of the most confusing parts of the app for me was looking at the meal calendar. I misinterpreted the calendar as something I had to strictly follow when it was just sort of meant to be a guide. So I started week one and I was feeling very motivated. I had gone grocery shopping, I had all the equipment I needed, all I needed to do was start the exercises. Everything is all set up down here. So we'll see how much it kicks my ass today. I started with a leg day and I didn't stretch beforehand. So that was my first mistake. I was so sore the next day that it hurt to sit down, it hurt to walk, it hurt to do anything other than like sit still and try not to move my muscles. And that's when I realized just how out of shape I was. I had planned to do another one of her resistance workouts the following day, but I was too sore to do anything at all. So instead, I chose to do a cardio day. Even though my legs were sore, I still kind of powered through it and got outside and hiked. It's actually a really nice day out. So I'm already out of breath. I feel like it's a testament to how out of shape I am right now, but I'm gonna go all the way up and all the way back down. And that should be about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna do it. The second challenge for me on the first week was the food. So normally when I came home from work, I would just kind of go overboard on things like pasta or breads or anything that had carbs. But I kind of tried to stick with the calendar the first week. And one of the things I ended up food prepping for dinner was the quinoa tortilla soup which was actually pretty good. The second thing that was hard for me to transition was how I snacked. At work, I would usually go into the canteen and eat like crackers or chips. I had to kind of swap out those habits and instead eat like a banana or eat some yogurt or a few almonds. And it wasn't as bad as I thought, but I still was really craving cheese. <laughs> So when I started week two, I thought it would be somewhat easier than week one, but I was still really, really sore. Just completed the abs workout and I'm sweaty, I'm tired. It's hard, it's harder than you think when you see her 
doing the exorcism on the app. She makes it look so easy. But I knew I was getting a good workout in, so I just stuck with it. I also noticed that I was hungrier than previous weeks. I still stuck with the meals that the app was recommending me, but I'm not perfect, so I ate some crackers and cookies here and there. Even though I had switched from going to the gym to bringing the gym into my living room, it was still a really challenging workout. There were times when I would finish those 28 minutes of resistance exercises and just be covered in sweat, or I would finish 45, 35 minutes of cardio and just come home with like a soaking wet tank top. I felt good mentally after an exercise, but I guess I just didn't realize how impactful these workouts would be. By week three, I wasn't seeing a big physical difference in terms of how toned I was, but I noticed a huge mental difference. I liked having the option of going straight home from work, doing a workout, immediately go shower and not waste time getting into my car, driving home in traffic, that sort of thing. Even if there were days I didn't necessarily want to do these app exercises, I still made myself do them anyway because it's only 30 minutes. It's only half an hour and it's gonna end soon. It's like sitting on the couch and watching an episode of a sitcom. I noticed it was becoming increasingly easier to make healthy food choices, especially because I was meal prepping. I found snacks that I really enjoyed eating and felt that I wasn't like taking away anything that I enjoyed other than cheese. But I still had these healthy snack options I could eat if I was hungry. But the holidays were coming up and I knew that was gonna be a challenge because one of the things I love doing during the holidays is eating and drinking, especially if you're in like a family or social setting. I think one of the hidden benefits of doing Kayla's program was the fact that it could come with you. The fact that I could just take it from one home to another home made it easy to continue doing. When I started week five, this was the point where I began to notice very subtle changes. For instance, in the very beginning during week one, I could only do about 10 mountain climbers before I had to stop and catch my breath. By week five, I could do 25 mountain climbers before stopping and taking a quick break and then doing 25 more. I was also noticing that I was becoming a little bit more toned, definitely less bloated because I had cut out so much sodium in like prepackaged food. And I think it was a combination of eating healthier, not necessarily eating less, but just eating more good food combined with the cardio and the resistance. It was for sure showing. So week six rolled around and I was feeling pretty good about myself. So I decided to compare a photo I'd taken in the very beginning to one at the beginning of week six. And I definitely noticed that I am way less bloated. I feel like I have more strength and toned in like my stomach and my arms. And overall, I was just feeling really good mentally. I think coming home after work and giving myself a 30 minute break just to exercise was a good sort of mental health break that I needed and my body also needed. So that was something I feel like I learned through this program. In the beginning, I think I was a little bit skeptical about how Kayla's program would work for me at home using no gym equipment. So I was very, very surprised when I saw the before and after pictures. The biggest difference I think I noticed was in my arms and in my abs, just from the way I was not toned before. Kayla really helped me become more toned over these six weeks. But there's also a huge, huge difference in the way I felt mentally. It was almost like a relief and feeling refreshed to end the night in like a more relaxed mood. Even though I challenged myself to do Kayla's program for six weeks, I still continue to do some of the resistance exercises at home, especially if I am going out somewhere after work, but I have to come home first. I'm always just like, well, I can, you know, fit in a 30 minute exercise, take a quick shower change and be on my way to go throughout the rest of my evening. If you are like me and are sort of lazy when it comes to going to the gym, or maybe you just don't want a gym membership or hate going to the gym, consider an at-home fitness program like the Sweat app because you don't have to deal with the hassle of people or waiting for equipment or parking and all the other things that come along with going to the gym when you can just do it from the comfort of your own home.